I'm your host, Claudie, and I'm super excited to be here with you. Let's say that this chair, I really want to blend it in with the blue. Or I want to change its color. You can always head back to the background because again, this is to enhance your project using any photo that you find, of course, free to use or you license or maybe you take, but maybe this chair is not the chair that you want to use. So all you're left to do here is simply to go to your background layer and then select the adjustment layers. And here I'm going to go to hue and saturation. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and check, use this little hand here that you can uh, allow you to uh, select the specific color there. And also look what it says here. It says that if you use this little uh, color selection, you can also command click to modify the hue. So if I command click, while I use this little hue there, I can actually change the color of the chair. Look how much more beautiful and complimentary this orange work. And how long did it take me? Like literally nothing. Now, if you see that this is starting to affect any area of your photo, you can see that perhaps is affecting the floor a little bit. There is another way that you can do to specifically uh, select a specific element of your photo, which is, for example, to head to the background and then use the wonderful object selection tool. Here it is. It looks like a square with another dotted square around. And that will allow you to real quick, if you have the object finder selected, uh, select object simply going there on a hover. So if you hover on an object, it will allow you to select it. And by the way, look at that. It already selected. It literally created the chair selection in like, what? Well, three seconds. By the way, you have two ways in which you can work. Uh, device, which uh, is a little bit faster uh, and it gives you quicker result, or cloud by using the actual power of the cloud, which will give you a more detailed result. So here, if you refresh the object finder, uh, and by the way, this is not a sticky setting, so you will have to reset it every time. It will just give you a little bit more of a detail refined uh, uh, result. So here, as you can see, if I'm clicking on it uh, and I have my chair that is selected, if there are bits of the selection that I do not want to use, uh, you can always use the marquee tool, press the letter M and the option key and click and drag on the area that you wish to remove uh, from your selection. Here we go. So it looks like it picked up the shadow. This selection would have took me, what, probably an hour, or probably 40 minutes just to do this selection. And now you can uh, actually use that into the uh, object. So the use saturation uh, layer. So here in the use saturation layer, I can create a mask that affect the chair. So once I go back into my UN saturation and I change the U, you will see that everything else will be untouched. So maybe you can match the purple. You can also change, of course, the saturation of the purple if you want to match. It's so cool. Almost like we can almost get the grain because of the texture. So. Don't forget that you can always go back into your layers and uh, really refine. So maybe here, if there are some bits of the chair that you're missing, you can always click on the mask and use the brush tool to paint everything that you paint in white. Um, it will be, let me go ahead and find a brush that is with a bit of feather and a little bit smaller. So everything that you paint in black will be removed and everything that you paint, oops, let's just use 20. Everything that you paint in black will be removed and everything that you paint in white will be added. Can you see how the, I'm going to zoom in, how the tint of green, of purple just kind of, I mean, just, just kind of gets a little bit into the wall. So remember black to hide it probably is easier if I just do it on the chair. See, if I paint out, I'm going to hide my mask there. But unfortunately, yes, time to say bye bye for now. Ciao, ciao.